Hi, my name is Brita Seltzer, and I'm a product manager at PagerDuty. Today, I'll be going over some new features we have around technical service dependencies. To start, why do technical service dependencies even matter? They matter because we are living in a time of constant change. Businesses are constantly iterating, teams are pushing code often on a continuous cycle, and personnel changes are not only expected, but they are more frequent than ever. This pace of change makes it critical to have a source of truth for your technical infrastructure. Without that, companies are vulnerable as there's risk of wasted time, energy, and money during critical moments of triage as responders try to pull together the pieces of what service is even having an issue, what other services may be affected to understand the true blast radius and impact of that issue, and who or what teams need to be involved in the overall triage effort. Not having this information readily available means responders have to rely on tribal or experiential knowledge, and any time they spend filling in these knowledge or communication gaps is time not spent solving the problem at hand. In contrast, technical service dependencies in PagerDuty provide a single source of truth about how services relate to each other so that responders can easily view the status, both operational or impacted, of the technical services that use or are used by their service that gives them immediate situational awareness about what's happening in the broader technical environment and levels the playing field for employees as everyone has access to this information during triage. And if there are any dependent relationships that require additional investigation, easily click on the service name to see what incidents are open on those services and who's on call closing any communication gaps and getting the right people collaborating immediately. We are also proud to announce our suggested service dependencies that leverage machine learning based on the relationships between services and their incidents over time to predict service dependencies. So whether your company is just beginning to add dependencies in PagerDuty or is trying to keep the service architecture up to date, PagerDuty is there to help fill in the critical gaps in moments that matter. By clicking on the service name and confirming the relationship, you can easily add dependencies so that information is there the next time there's an incident. Creating service dependencies in PagerDuty is easy through our UI, API, Terraform provider, or ServiceNow integration. So the next time there's a cross-cutting incident, ensure the right teams have the right context to resolve the incident as quickly as possible to reduce time, cost, and mean time to resolve. Please visit our knowledge base for further information, or if your company is new to PagerDuty, get started with a free trial today. And now for a quick demo about how technical service dependencies work in PagerDuty today. In this case, I'm on the Sole model service profile page and I've navigated to the impact tab. I can see the services that my service uses or depends on in the left-hand column here, and the services that are used by or that support my service supports in the right-hand column. Creating service dependencies is easy. Simply click to add business or technical service dependencies through the UI or use our API Terraform provider or ServiceNow integration to automate your source of truth. Once you've added service dependencies, you can easily see the status of those dependent services or click to find more information, like who's on call, what team owns that service, their preferred com communication channel, or click through to the service profile page to find out more. Now let's turn to an example of how this information can accelerate incident triage. In this case, Soleil model is having an active incident. If I navigate to the incident details page, I can easily see the technical service dependencies module here on the right hand side. And this can help a responder answer three key questions quickly. Is this incident caused by something on my service? Was this incident caused by a service that I depend on? And are any of these services that rely on my service being impacted downstream? In this example, I can quickly understand that while my service is experiencing an issue, there are also issues in the dependency chain, which helps me understand that this is likely not a problem on my service, but rather an issue with a larger blast radius. 
I can see here that model conversion service that I rely on has an open incident. I can click to see who's on call, what incidents are open, or even visit the service profiles page for further information. I can also see that there's a suggested service dependency. In this case, maybe my team hadn't added this dependency yet, or it's something new that we weren't aware of. PagerDuty's machine learning looks at the relationship of services and their incidents over time to predict relationships for you. By clicking on the Add button, you can confirm the relationship so that that dependency information is there for responders the next time they're responding to an incident. In summary, the dependency information levels the playing field for all employees during incident triage because people don't have to rely on tribal or experiential knowledge to understand the broader service architecture in order to effectively triage an incident. It also closes communication gaps because employees can easily identify who to reach out to for immediate help. And suggested dependencies mean that whether a company is just beginning to add dependencies or is trying to keep their service architecture up to date, PagerDuty is there to help fill in critical gaps in moments that matter. Thank you for your time, and I encourage you to read our knowledge base article should you have further questions.